Hello and welcome to the video. This is a first look video at this brand new frame from Armatan. This is the brand new Armatan Marmot. And in this video, what I wanted to do is kind of give you an overview of this frame. Now, for those of you that have been watching my channel for a little while, you'll know that I am a long time Armatan flyer. In fact, my very first proper quadcopter and the one I didn't build, actually built for me by Chris in Armatan back in January 2013. So over six years ago, that's how long Chris and I have been flying quadcopters. Chris, a lot longer than I have, because when he did the demo video of this 258 CNC aluminium arms, uh, he used to kind of pre-fly every single one. He used to get a video showing him flying it. And uh, I'm not sure I'm still able to kind of pull off the kind of moves that he could with this little quadcopter. And then I've also kept all the other Armatan models that I've had in because they're just so bloody lovely. The next one I got in was the Armatan Rooster. This is another five inch quad, has the Armatan titanium cage at the front to protect the camera. And it's probably something you've seen in lots of other videos. There was some feedback about having the arms as separate pieces. So Chris went away and redesigned the chameleon with a one piece plate that also then started to use the same cage at the front. In fact, I did a complete build of this chameleon TI and it's still available from Armatan. Both of these are beautiful models, fantastic frames and fly incredibly well. And then they also have the little baby gecko. And again, the gecko was something that I built out. Little three inch quad. You can get this under 250 grams. Run cam split at the front and flies and behaves just like a little five inch quad. So if you're in one of those areas where 250 gram limit is something that you need to consider and you don't want to sacrifice all the beautiful engineering that you get in Armatan five inch quads, then the gecko is the one for you. But this video is all about the Armatan Marmot. Now, Armatan don't bring out frames very often. They tend to do an awful lot of testing and research before they put them out into the market. So you might have seen this in one or two videos already. But as I'm one of the first to get my hands on this, I thought it would be handy to do a video before I do an entire build with the thing. So first of all, let me talk about what is different on the frame and then I'll show you how quickly it goes together and also run through the parts I'm going to use for the upcoming build. The first thing that you'll notice is the cage at the front is completely different. It's a brand new design from the cage that you saw on the Rooster and the Chameleon TI. Still made out of milled titanium but this time rather than it just being milled out of a flat block of titanium it's actually 3d milling so it's actually thicker at the back than it is at the front and that's for a very specific cute thing that is because it actually tilts you can change the rake of both the action camera that you have attached to the top of this piece and you can also change the rake of the camera mounted in the front so you can in this frame unlike the other previous titanium cage mount the camera so it's pointing straight out, which is a lot more beginner friendly than the other frames. But it also means that you can rake it at pretty severe angles. So you can have the camera that you're flying with and your action camera at the angle that you want to capture that footage. Now, obviously the cage is going to protect the camera in a crash the same way that it's always done, but this time there's an extra couple of pieces. Now, the bits inside the cage aren't made of titanium, they're made of aluminium and they're designed so that in the event of a crash, all of that force isn't transmitted into the plastic case of a camera and break the camera that you've got mounted in the middle. These aluminium pieces will flex and deform and absorb some of that energy so that hopefully if you have a really nasty crash, then the camera isn't the weakest point inside that cage and is the one that's going to show the damage. The carbon fiber in the frame is very different from any other carbon fiber that I've seen. You'll notice that the weave in particular is an awful lot bigger and that's because this carbon fiber isn't the same carbon fiber that you tend to find on frames and this is something that Armatan uh, talking to Chris, he's managed to get some exclusivity on for a little while. This is actually stuff that's used in space programs. Uh, and the way it works, it comes in pre-doped big rolls. And the space program, if they don't use it in time, then they kind of sell it on. So this carbon fiber is much, much stiffer and stronger than the stuff that we're used to. So this could have been inside a rocket or part of something that was going to go into space. But... 
we have it as part of the frame. Now in the bits I've been doing here, just trying to flex it, it is incredibly strong. And if you compare it with the other frames that I've got here on the rooster and the chameleon, it does feel an awful lot tougher. Same kind of beautiful fit and finish as you normally expect from Armatan with chamfered corners. Because the cage has been pushed out a little bit and you've got separate titanium standoff pieces at the back that hold it in place, Armatan has been able to extend the deck at the top. So it's significantly longer than the deck on those other models too. So whereas a 1500 was probably the biggest battery that you could squeeze on top of those other models. A 2200 will easily sit on here. 2400 you can squeeze on the top as well. If you have the cage at its lowest position, then you could get a slightly longer battery on there too. But that does also mean if you're using a smaller battery, you do have a little bit more latitude to get your central gravity absolutely spot on. 20 millimeters between the bottom deck and the top deck. So loads of room in here for an all-in-one flight controller that's gonna do the power distribution board pieces too and a VTX in your receiver and other bits. The tail pieces have been redesigned. So rather than just the standard ones that was on the original Rooster and the Chameleon Ti, this one has several different pieces depending on whether or not you're going to use a little VTX antenna uh, or whether you're going to use a TBS support and there's also been some thought in how you can easily mount things like crossfire antennas. So with this one and you'll show you the bits in a minute I'm actually going to use a little nano crossfire receiver in here to fly this one with to show you how all that stuff mounts up. 20 and 30.5 millimeter mounting holes for the flight controller and the build I'll show you in a second is really straightforward because it's a single piece lower. It's just a case of bolting everything to that and uh, probably the hardest thing to do is put the cage together. And it takes all about 10 minutes from taking out the packet to having it sat in front of you ready to install the pieces. Last thing I'll mention is this thing is covered by the Armatan lifetime warranty. Now the Armatan warranty is a bit different. Those of you that have already claimed on the Armatan warranty will know about this, but the warranty that Armatan provides is for the lifetime of the product. It's not just how long they're selling the product for. If you sell it on, if you buy an Armatan frame, a genuine Armatan frame from somebody else and then you break it, the warranty is still good. Um, so even if you do something daft, like you back your car over it accidentally, uh, and talking to Chris at Armatan, he's actually had one of those, uh, then if you get in touch with Armatan, then they'll replace it, no quibbles. So a fantastic warranty. Now these frames are not cheap, you know, we're talking about $100, but it means that so long as you can find the part to show Armatan the bit that was broken, you can claim on that warranty and you can keep claiming on that warranty with a genuine Armatan frame until you get bored of it and sell it. And there's more inherent value when you get rid of the thing, if you ever want to, because the person who buys it can still claim on that warranty as well. So to put it together, as I mentioned, is very straightforward. It comes with a fantastic set of instructions. So you just go along with each piece. First thing you need to do is put the cage together and that's held together by a couple of bolts that go along the front that hold the titanium spar in place and also have the aluminium cam savers as well. Then there is the carbon fiber piece that goes on the top, still the same carbon fiber that the frame is made of. And then once you've done that, it's just a case of bolting all the titanium pieces onto the frame itself at the front and back, popping the top deck on. All of the screws and everything that I'm using here to put this together come in the kit. And then once you've done that, you just need to screw the cage onto the supports at the front. And that's why this has to be a 3D milled cage because it is wider at the back than at the front. And that allows you to get your screwdriver in to nip up those bolts. For the pieces on the frame that the cage bolts into, don't do those up really tight until you've got the cage in place because unless they're completely level at 90 degrees, uh, the bolts won't line up. So I just keep them very slightly loose until you've got everything set up and then nip up the screws that hold those titanium supports for the cage on the bottom deck and the top deck up and it'll all be snug. So for those of you who are interested in what I'm going to put on this to build this out, I'm uh, going to use 2306 2400 KV motors. These are the Armatan branded ones. You can select these from the website. Let me quickly take it in the packet and show you. The wires on these are spectacularly long, so we won't have to worry about having to join things together. This will be a very simple, straightforward, neat build 
Uh, we could have used a four in one in the middle here, but we're going to put ESCs out on the arms. But we're definitely going to have easily enough wire here. So that spare wire is probably going to end up in the spares bin. But we have four of those pretty motors. Flight controller, I'm going to go with the same flight controller that I did when I built both the Gecko and the Chameleon Ti. Uh, it seems to work really nicely in these frames, and that's the CL Racing F4S. This is the version 1.5. It's a nice option for frame builds like this because it's an all-in-one board. It has the power distribution board, and it has all the pieces on your need. So with just this one board, I should be able to get a really neat installation. For those of you that watch the channel, you know I'm a little bit of a neat freak when it comes to stuff like that. Uh, there is a cable in the box with it as well uh, to connect it to a 4-in-1 ESC and the anti-vibration mounts. I will be using those too. Props are good old cyclones. Uh, we're going to use the standard ones that I put on pretty much everything here and do a good job for me. The ESCs are these Armatan branded 30 amp ESCs that can go out onto the arms. Again, loads and loads of wire on this, as well as three extra little bits of wire to go into the motor if you need an extension. I'm not probably not going to use those, but hopefully you can see here two to six S, BL Heli S, pretty standard stuff. And those will fit beautifully out onto the arms. Just make sure the cable runs are really neat when I do the build. Again, I do like the fact you get those extra little bits of cable. That's the kind of stuff that can really stop you in your tracks if you haven't got that in the spares bin. So we have four of those ESCs. So that's that piece done. That's the power system sorted out. The ESCs, motors and props. Camera, let's do the FPV stuff next. The camera I'm intending to use is a Foxeer Predator V3. Uh, super wide dynamic range camera great little option again this is going to fit beautifully inside that cage and hopefully it worked very nicely for us VTX I'm going to use the TBS Unify Pro here so that's going to make the choice of the mount at the back for the VTX uh, very straightforward I'm going to pop a pagoda antenna on that so that that's the FPV system sorted as well so join me in a future video where over the series of two or three videos, I'll put this together and we'll take it out to fly. But the first impressions of this frame are very, very good. I do like the changes that Armatan have put into this. It'll be interesting to see how the carbon fiber fares in the build and how it flies and with that extra rigidity. I love the new camera and the idea that it's actually now uh, rake adjustable, both for the action camera and for the FPV camera you've got mounted in there as well and the longer deck means I can get slightly larger batteries on because for me uh, because I don't tend to fly or freestyle all the time it'll be nice to have a quad that will fly for a little bit longer particularly if I'm going to put something like TBS Crossfire on this. Thanks for watching the video and watching right to the very end. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you like the video and like what I'm doing here, then hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification icon too. If you really like what I'm doing, you can go the extra mile and become one of my Patreons for access to me directly for support and also giveaways and regular updates too. If you're looking for particular content, then check out the playlist. I organize all of my videos into playlists. So if you're looking for a particular topic, you can find everything here. If it's called Introduction To, it's designed to start very simply and build on that simple introduction to teach you all about it. If it's called For Beginners, then that is really aimed at people who are brand new to that part of the hobby. You can also search on YouTube for anything that you're interested in using the search function at the top. So iNav Painless 360 will find all of my videos and even the playlists around iNav. So thanks again for watching and happy flying.